Let's see a little bit more about the output region tab. The output region tab, we're going to find it in most of the algorithms that we can execute in Sextante. Using this output region tab, we can give Sextante information about the region that we want to analyze. All the calculations, all the processing that Sextante is going to do is going to take place only within that region. I'm going to show you an example so you can understand that. If I leave this fit to input layer value and I execute the slope, you can see that the layer that I have just created has exactly the same extent as the input layer, as the digital elevation model. Now let's do something different. Let's go to that digital elevation model and let's zoom in in this little area here. And now let's execute the slope algorithm again. We go to upper region and we select use the extent from the view and we select that view that we have in here. It's called view on title zero. When I click on use extend from view and I select this untitled zero view, automatically here I see the extent of that view, the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. And then there's a cell size. I need a cell size because I'm going to generate a new raster layer and I need to set this up. But there's no cell size in a view, so I have to enter it. I'm going to use the same one as the input layer. So now I'm telling Sextante to generate a slope layer, but just on this region. To do so, it will analyze only the information coming from the input layer, which is within that region. Let's see what happens if I execute the algorithm now. As you can see, the algorithm is a little bit slower than in case of analyzing the whole layer because it has to perform interpolation to calculate this new area. Now here we see the output layer that we have just created. But if I just zoom out now, you see here is the big layer, the big data elevation model, but the slope layer is smaller because it covers only the extent that we selected.